Empresses. Welcome to the Silver Empress Tarot channel. All right, so we have three piles for you to choose from today, and we're just doing quick messages for the new moon and cancer. What do your guides want you to know? We have pile number one with this beautiful teacup. Okay, pile number two with this really cute, pretty shaped teacup over here. And uh, pile number three with the blue, the blue flowers, the blue flowered teacup. So take a few moments, take a few deep breaths, ask your guides to guide you towards the pile which is going to resonate for you the most. Uh, what are your spirit messages for the new moon in Cancer? And we're gonna make it brief, okay? Um, like I said, pile one, pile two, Pile three, I'm going to start with the teacup for pile one, all right? So let's see, what do your guides want to tell you, pile one? All right, so the light card that you have is mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Hmm, interesting, pile one. You could be dealing with, you could be dealing with a twin flame connection. Something or somebody could be triggering you. They could be mirroring your energy, we have Aries, we have Leo, we have the number 12. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo, you yourself could be an Aries or Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, the number 7 and the number 12. Hello, hello. Pile number 3, Kim, that one's for you, nice, okay. And let's find out pile number 1, what are your messages here? So I have the cards for you already, and I have charms. Look at that. Okay, pile one. Let's go through your charms, your letters here. Oops, sorry, knocking the camera. You have letter S, letter O, and letter R. Sor, Ross, Ro. Maybe these are somebody's initials. Um, we have... The Divine Feminine Plane Ticket. So maybe you're planning to travel or a woman is planning to travel towards you or you're looking for a woman to come towards you. Um, we have, oh, I always think of this one as like the Divine Masculine Charm with the Twin Flame. And we, you had the card of mirroring, right? So I did say already some of you could be dealing with a Twin Flame connection. So if that's the case for you, if you're a masculine watching, I feel like the Divine Feminine is headed towards you. Your twin flame, your best uh, life partner. It, I feel like also all like twin flame messages aside, I feel like you guys could be doing some shadow work right now. And people in your life might be triggering for you. You could be feeling called back towards old addictions, behaviors, patterns that don't serve you. So I feel like there is peace being unlocked in your life very soon. This key here. Yeah, somebody could be trying to play games with you. Also, the game of basketball could be significant for somebody. Remember that your your vibe attracts your tribe, so keep your vibes high. I feel like you usually try to, but it's, like, difficult for you at this time. So we have the tiny tarot for you here. Let me turn it all over so I can't see what it is. And I'm going to pull for a couple of different positions for you here. Spirit, what message did you have? Okay, so who are you right now? Mm, okay, so you're moving forward in your life. You're persevering through a difficult situation. Um, with the Knight of Swords reversed, you could have got some message or news that doesn't serve you, that you don't like. I don't know why, of course, obviously fighting, arguing doesn't serve anyone. And that's what that energy of that Knight of Swords is. Um, you could be fighting or arguing with someone in a connection. There's just some sort of bad news that's coming your way, but you're succeeding. Um, it could feel like all hope is lost. It could feel like really sad, actually, presently. You might be closing yourself off energetically. Maybe you're not even talking um, to anyone right now. You know, there could be a breakup of a current connection, something like that. There's a choice or decision to make when it comes to love. You need to go after your heart. So some of you could feel called towards another true love. It's causing some sort of issue or problem. It's like you see an adventure, but you're not sure what to do or where to go. I feel like you're going to succeed the best. Like your best advice here is that you will succeed 
if anyone's triggering you, even if it's family, whoever's triggering you, you're going to have the most success um, by making that choice to walk away from from people that are trying purposefully to trigger you, okay? Um, and then with mirror, it's like, this is happening for a spiritual reason. Okay? Okay. Um, there is some sort of destiny that you are pursuing that you're headed towards. I do feel like this could be... Um, you know, involving some sort of um, true love, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, I can't remember what the chariot card represents. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra are here very strongly in these cards, though. So a lot of air signs, a lot of thinking taking place. Not a lot of talking. Not a lot of talking at this time. But I do feel like overall you are um, planning to move forward. You have the scorpion. Okay, so... You are resilient. No matter what you go through, Pile One, your guides want you to know that you're always going to make it. Um, but what they want for you, what they really and truly want for you is that you can be in a connection, you can be in a safe space, you can be in a home, you can be in an environment and have friends around you that you don't have to be a scorpion anymore. You don't have to have that hard shell and be, always be protecting yourself and protecting your heart. Um, so they would like you to make sure that whatever you're doing, whatever choices you make, um, you make those choices. Hold on just a second. Hold on. Sorry, Yolanda. I can't see what you said. I see that you said, is that what the chariot represents? But I don't see any other message. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, the scorpion, it's like your guides are asking you, Make the choice, make the decision that is going to lead you towards um, immediate change in your life. Immediate change that is going to help you to become uh, free, free to allow your heart to open, okay? You might not be allowing your heart open right away. But make the choices, make those good choices so that you can find yourself in an environment where it is safe to be yourself. Where people love you for who you are. Ah, cancer. Cancer. It could be. It definitely could be. Thank you so much, Yolanda. Yes. New moon and cancer. Okay, so that makes sense also then, huh? The chariot there. But you're manifesting a brighter future. You're manifesting healing. You are definitely a twin flame pile. Look at you. Twin flame union here. This is what you're manifesting in. So right now, what's going to help you the most is th this um Speaking positively to yourself. You guys, even if it doesn't resonate for you, I mean, you have so much that's like all very twin flamey here, right? But even if you're like, oh, screw twin flames or whatever, your guides are just trying to say that when you wake up in the morning, say positive things to yourself. Continue to speak positively. Continue that positivity. I feel like you usually do, but you're just going through some sort of shadow right now. And you're just being called on, you know, again, speak loving words and remember that the power that your words hold. And I feel like you usually do. And that can be why you're holding your tongue, so to speak, as well. Um, you're just being reminded also. Um, yes, there's pile number two and pile number three also. Um, you're being reminded here also that um, everything that's happening is part of your spiritual soul path. It's meant to happen, okay? Yep. Okay, so that is your message. Oh, let me get you a divine door message. Yeah, a lot of thinking going on. You may be trying to decide how you can have two things at once. That came through just now. The art of life. There is no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. So be bold in your skin and let your love dance in sight. So don't have hidden connections, basically. Um, go for it. Go for whatever you want. Make sure you're being upfront. You know, you are being called on to make some serious drastic changes, I feel like, Paul One. But at the same time, like... You, you're thinking, and I don't want to be rude, but it feels like your thinking can be very much in the box right now or down. Maybe you have a bit of a dark thinking. There's so many options and possibilities open to you that you may not have recognized. Um, there's some sort of fate to this, right? Palmistry. Yeah, there is a fate to what's taking place here. Um, 
talk it out. Talk it out with some others as well. Hi, Empress. How are you? Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Kim. It's just 1010 right now. Everybody take a moment. Please hit that like button. Make a wish. We are manifesting your dreams coming true in 2022 over here on the Silver Empress Tarot channel. Let me know how those wishes are going for you. We've been making wishes over here for the last six months. I know I've had a lot of beautiful things manifest in my life over the past six months. Um, all right, we're going to move on now to pile number two. So pile number two. Let me kind of cleanse the energy just a second. Okay. All right. What are your new moon and cancer messages? What do your guides want to tell you, pile two? Pile two, you have sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Oh, okay. Pile two. So you're high priestesses that chose this pile. And I love this cup. I, I just like the shape of the cup. I was talking with one of my friends about it earlier and it was like, it's a sexy cup. It's a sexy cup. You guys could be very sexy. Can a teacup be sexy? I don't know, but it is. <laughs> um, let's see your charms. Okay. You know what song I'm getting? Oh, you guys, I don't know if you chose Paul 1, but I should say this. So I had a song for you also. Hi, Empress 1111. Look at all the Empresses up in here. I love it. I love it, you guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Um, okay, listen, listen. So the song that I got when I was pulling cards for Pile 1, uh, You Don't Want to F With Me. Who sings it? I don't know. I can't remember now. I think it might be DMX. Uh, yeah, so you guys are in a bad, like, ah, you might be angry right now, and that's why you're staying away from people, maybe. But I feel like your guides are also singing with that song, like, you're so protected, like, you don't even want to mess with me. And the fact that this is coming also with Pile 2 now, I feel like Pile 2 is super delicate. You're super delicate, but your guides are also, like, about it, you know, like... Like, you guys, like, you're also very protected. You're also highly protected. Pile 1 and 2 both have that song. Okay, we have I and O and R for your letters. We have infinite love here with this charm. We have how to be cute. You guys could be going through some sort of glow up. We have, um, I've probably said this before, maybe you guys are doing something now that you've done before, like done in a past life. Um, you guys could be healers, definitely could be tapping into your magical abilities. Uh, we have the shovel here. So yeah, definitely you could be doing some... Um, space clearing right so we have the tiny tarot and i'm going to pull from the tiny tarot for you to see what it is you're releasing and what are you who are you right now spirit who are they right now you guys had a lot of tarot come out um okay so you guys are at this very moment maybe a little unsure of yourself unsure of where you're headed next but you know that you're blessed you know that, and you know you don't really care about what other people have to say. Um, yeah, you're doing you, and you don't mind and you don't care uh, what they're talking about. But you could be shining right now with that six of wands. You have a lot. <laughs> the tiny tarot is so difficult. It's so cute, though, right? Um, it's so cute. Yeah, but it's a little difficult to handle. You're right. Um, I just put them on the table like this. So you guys are very confident in yourself right now. And even though you don't know where you're headed, I feel like you're just getting like those downloads, like those visions, the enlightenment, the creation, the creative vibes are just coming towards you and you're allowing it to happen. And you recognize, like I said, with that seven of swords, how blessed you are. You're headed towards something stable with the Hierophant. You're headed towards possible long-term marriage, um, possible, you know, job. Well, you have the priestess. In the higher fence. So you're headed towards some sort of career that is like high up, high status, um, something where you're going to be in charge. Um, maybe this is, um, I don't know what this could be, to be honest, but you're headed towards something good. Um, after a time period of like maybe lost opportunities or feeling like you missed out on opportunities. I think it's marriage for some of you. Look at this, four of wands. Um, a new beginning and a relationship like a new relationship that's going to lead to marriage. Look at this, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. What are you releasing? 
you're releasing a fear that you're going to miss out on opportunities. The page of Pentacles reversed and that nine of wands. So you're just allowing whatever to happen, happen. And I feel like your guys are saying good job there. This pile for you is just like, hey, look, at, look, you're doing the right thing. Whatever it is, you're doing it right. So don't even worry about it. And if you're studying, if you're in school or you have been feeling called to learn about some certain subject, your guides are, all, all, are also, sorry, I almost had a like a, oh, I almost couldn't talk for a second. Or I was like almost stuttering. So maybe somebody stutters that was watching. Your guides are also, you know, saying, go for it, study it, do it. You can do it. And it might not be something you need a degree for, but like if there was something you're interested in, I feel like your guides are saying, go for it. Oh, yes, you guys definitely look. So I, I'm using these cards, which are not like tarot cards or even oracle cards or cards from a game. Um, oh, the Empress is going back to school soon. Very nice. Hey, JR. Hey. Okay, so, yeah. Um, look, it's like a cup full of magic, you guys. And look, it looks like tree roots are here on the chalice. So you're manifesting a new love connection, a magical love connection um, that will be stable, like a new home for some of you, a marriage, Um a job that is, you know, very prosperous, um, just happiness, stability, success. That's what you're manifesting just by hanging in there and seeing the blessings all around you and by having confidence in yourself. And hey, like you can never have too much confidence. I don't think so. You're not a narcissist. Pile two. Um, you guys are going through a rebirth with this one. Yeah, definitely. There is a rebirth here. I feel like um, something around winter will be significant. Ooh, occupational therapy license. Very good. Yeah, definitely. A healer, definitely. Definitely, definitely. All right, and when it comes to love, your guides just want to tell you, you do have a soulmate coming in, right? Soulmate twin flame. We already saw the twin flame card come out with pile one, so it obviously can't come out again. Um, but you have, you know, a soulmate, a true love coming in for you. Um, the best thing you can do right now is just continue with that hangman energy of just like allowing things to come, allowing those blessings to come. I know I'm blessed. Keep on bringing those blessings to me, universe. Um, there could be somebody that you need to give the benefit of the doubt to. Um, maybe you have a shaky foundation with someone. Give them the benefit of the doubt. You're going to know if that message is for you. This person, the soulmate, is coming in fearlessly into your life at some point. To offer you something legit. And we do see that, right? The Hierophant, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, even that Silver Chalice. So, yes, yes, yes. I love it. Just say yes to life right now. Just hang in there, recognizing your blessings. And um, that's what's bringing in positive things for you with the new moon in Cancer. Let's get a Divine Door message. Spirit for pile too. Look at this divine guardian. So yeah, I told you when we started, I felt that energy of like, you guys are really protected. Like it's like your guides are gangsters or something. I don't know. Like seriously, um, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. So it's like your ancestors here. I don't know what's going on with you pile too, but I love your guides. Look at this destiny. Um, yeah, your guides are not going to let you down. <laughs> Um, one door opens, another closes. Wait, one door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. So your destiny is unraveling and you're just accepting it and accepting how blessed you are. And uh, you're very intuitive as well. Simple, complex words of pain or words that heal. You come to know the truth by the way that it feels. You have been lied to in the past. Definitely. Definitely, because we have that seven of swords, but it's reversed. So you see the blessing in whatever situation was not good in the past, right? Whoever lied to you, manipulated you, tried to, because I feel like you saw through it at that time too, but you're like, there was something there where there was some lesson you needed to learn. Maybe you're very loyal and kind, um, but you are giving birth right now to a whole new identity. Yeah. 
Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. I would say if you have Empress in your name, probably this pile's for you because <laughs> of that birth card. That's what I feel like. Even if you felt called to another pile, that's fine. Um, but there was definitely something there for you. All right, we're going to move on now to pile three. Let me just cleanse the energy just a second. Oh, wait, pile two, I didn't do. Um, we have Cancer, we have Aries, or is it Virgo? Guys, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It was either Virgo or Aries. I've already forgotten, like, no, this one's Aries, so that one was not Virgo. Um, Taurus, it was Taurus. And then we have Capricorn. I don't know why I get those signs mixed up, but there's Virgo coming now. No, there's Capricorn. The other was Virgo. All right, leave me alone. Sorry. <laughs> there's like four zodiac signs like that I get mixed up, and they all just came there right now. So the number eight could be significant for you also. If you didn't see your zodiac sign, it's fine. You'll know if that message was for you, but somebody maybe needed that synchronicity, you know? Okay, let me just cleanse the energy. Oh, it was 2112. I love it. 2112. Thank you all for joining me here in the chat. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and make a wish. We're manifesting your dreams coming true in 2022 over here on the Silver Empress Tarot channel. You have pile of light. Oh, <laughs> you have pillar of light, but I said pile of light. So you are light workers. Whatever it is, you're light workers. Look at this. Pile three, you are light workers. You are the oracle. You have a very high vibe, and your vibe is rising and rising and rising. Look at you, pile three. You're like headed towards the sky. You're headed towards the sun. Headed towards the sun or the moon, however you want to look at it on a rainbow of light. This is beautiful. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. So you have the knowledge. Now it's time. Now the tests are coming. Number six and number seven can be significant for you. I'm going to move these down here. We're going to look at your teacup. What do you have inside? Let's find out. Higher and higher. What song is that? So I'm trying to see if I get any song for you, Paw 3. If something comes through, I'll let you know, okay? All right. We have B, A, P, and N, and R. So I see ban, bar, par. If somebody plays golf. Hello, I'm yours. There's a little key here. Something's being unlocked in the 3D, it looks like. Um, maybe some movement from somebody who hasn't been moving, maybe, towards you. Uh, you have a message from the universe. You've got this, okay? Uh, your angels are with you. You've got this. You are a healer, pile three. You might be a nurse. You might be a doctor. Definitely a healer. Stethoscope, okay? Might be going to the doctor soon. Where are you right now? Whoa, the tower and the ace of cups. You're looking for new love, and it doesn't feel like it's coming in right this very second. It hasn't come yet, or if it has, it shook you with that tower, right? The queen of cups reverse. You could be feeling very um, not good, not good when it comes to your love life. Um, negative self-talk with that queen of cups reversed, okay? Um, your spirit guides are actually asking you to release the stress and burden of chasing what you want, okay? If you have an alcohol issue, because bar came out in this nine of cups with all the cups, um, you know, beware of getting so stressed out that you go back to drinking or something like that, okay? Beware of that. I feel like that message is coming through pretty strong here too. Um, you could be moving home soon or you just moved home, the key and the tower, or there's some stress about where to live or something like that. Just know love is headed your way, okay? I feel like this Queen of Cups, hold on, let me just see here. Queen of Cups, should it be upright now? Into the future with the King of Cups, should it be upright, yes or no? 
Yeah, but I need to pull more cards. So right now it's reversed. Right now there's a lot of negative self-talk about finding love. Um, you might feel like love's not coming your way or love's not coming in. Walk away from that mentality. Maybe you need to move somewhere better than where you're at. You need to get out there in a better environment where there's singles or something. But you have king and queen of cups in your future. What do they need to do besides walk away? There's some choice or decision actually that you need to make. So you need to make that choice or decision to shake things up. You need to choose the tower. You need to embrace the tower. Wow. Wow. Embrace that tower. Whatever that tower means for you, pile three, when you embrace it, when you embrace allowing your life to shake for love, your life will, your, your love will come. Your life will shake, but that will bring in a mutually um, loving, caring partner, the two of cups. So yeah wow okay so you're just you're just right there it's just right there hi lulu how are you hi kim oh kim yeah yeah oh he was a drinker huh okay yeah definitely release that kim release that and open your heart to new love so you guys pile three you have to release someone i feel like when you release that that wanting someone that wanting we have the empress Ooh, some of you could even have children with this uh, person that's coming in. Especially if you wanted to be a mother. Yeah. When you're ready to release the idea of it has to be this one, that's when the real love will come. And for some of you, it's a move or something like that that you need to make for love. Right? Take it how it resonates. Um, pile three. So interesting. Physical touch physical connection and falling in love so you're being told what's going to help to bring this in and what's coming in what's coming in is a physical 3d touch my body connection very sexual connection okay um what's bringing it in is touching people physically so maybe going on dates maybe that's what spirit is saying love language of physical touch um it's interesting like maybe some of you are I, I don't know, You're, pile three, you have to take it how it resonates, but I feel like it's just like, maybe some of you are online dating or something, but you don't go on physical dates. Start going on physical dates with somebody, okay? Because that's actually going, seeing someone, being with them in the physical, touching, even touching, being touchy with other people, touching their hands. Well, not other people, but like a date, right? Um, it's bringing in physical, 3D connection, physical touch, and that is also bringing in falling in love. So it's kind of a little different than we would think, but don't be afraid to um, to trust in your gut intuitions with people, with those that you're with. Um, you're really protected. There's something here about how hypnotic your eyes are as well. Yeah, you guys, there's something here about hypnotism. And it's like, so there's something about suggestion, the power of suggestion. You're being called on to forgive and forget a ritual cleansing of pain and lies. Arise and awaken and see a new sunrise. And we saw that, right? Like she's headed towards the sun. There's a new sun. There's a rainbow beam of sunshine. Or there's some sort of rainbow beam coming from the earth that is beaming her up towards the sun. Um, you are the oracle and intuition. So this is what's being created in your life. Your guides want you to know you know, forgiving the past. And there is something that is coming to my mind that I will put in the timestamp and I will put it in the timestamp for you, Pal3. Um, so come back and look, it'll be in the comments. It is something that one of my friends told me, it's a phrase that one of my friends told me, like right before she said this, right after she said that I should start seeing this, my entire life become became like a tower. Like, um, so I'll put it because I can't remember it and I know I'm going to say it wrong because it's a really long word. And then recently I saw it again, like, a few days back and obviously like well maybe a week or two ago on somebody's insta page um and i know that there's always reasons why these things come into our life and it caused a whole power thing for me but it was beautiful what's happened because my life has transformed so completely and i feel like you guys are back where i was you know maybe eight months ago or something we have to embrace those tower moments